real life Moby Dick to sea creatures as big as islands. Here are 13 of the biggest sea monsters ever. 13. Aya Napa Sea Monster Now since this is a resort town in Cyprus, you'd have to imagine that the last thing Aya Napa would need is bad publicity stemming from the appearance of a sea monster offshore. Now, this popular tourist destination in the Mediterranean is said to be the home of the Friendly Monster as it's called by local fishermen there. Ancient authorities describe this beast as having the torso of a giant woman combined with a serpentine lower body, and about the midriff area are the heads of six snarling dogs and the twelve forelimbs. More modern accounts speculate it could be some sort of serpent or crocodile, but whatever it is, the Cypriot government has undertaken a search for the beast, and who knows, maybe having an aquatic monster isn't necessarily a bad thing in your neighborhood? Did you know the local media has taken to calling this mystery the Cyprus? Loch Ness. 12. Morgawa This is a sea serpent that appears in the folklore of Cornwall in the UK. Said to lurk in the sea close to Falmouth Bay, it made its disputed initial appearance in 1975 and was described as having an extremely long neck and a trunk. Now, some accounts give a different description, saying the creature first appeared during World War I when a German U-boat sank a British merchant ship. Now, this version of the Morgawa was claimed to be more than 60 feet long and resembled an enormous crocodile with a powerful tail and four webbed feet. Whenever it first appeared, and whatever it really looks like, the legend of this beast lives on, with sightings still occasionally reported. Did you know that in Cornish, the name Morgawa means sea giant? 11. Luska This is said to be a man-eating aquatic monster that's found in the region of Andros, an island in the Bahamas. Now, Andros is known for its vertical underwater sinkholes, or blue holes, and for a meandering system of caves in their region. The Luska is said to lurk within those caves. It is described as a bizarre hybrid of octopus and shark, although other accounts describe it as a kind of eel-squid hybrid. You'll know just before it attacks because the water will start to furiously bubble and roil, and the monster will suck the victims into that water, then feed upon them in the deep caves. Disappearances of swimmers and underwater cave divers have been blamed upon these creatures. Survivors of purported attacks say they were grabbed by huge tentacles and are said to have welts on the bodies that are similar to those left by suckers. Reports have indicated the creatures can grow up to some 200 feet long. 10. Giant Scuttle in the Bahamas, scuttle is a regional term for octopus, and this one is kind of similar to the Luska, although it doesn't hole up in caves, but is said to roam the deeper waters of the Bahamas. It's been described by pearl divers and swimmers as an enormous version of the Luska, or a gigantic octopus. 9. St. Brendan and the Devil Whale now, we could not find any exact dimensions for this legendary sea creature, except that it's said to be about the size of an island, and was big enough to swallow ships in their entirety. So, we'll just go ahead and say it must have been a huge beast. It was first chronicled by St. Brendan, an Irish monk who was later canonized. He may be most renowned for his legendary journey, which is thought to have occurred sometime between the years 512 and 530 AD. Now, during this voyage, he's said to have landed on an island that actually turned out to be a sea monster named Jasconius. Similar stories show up in Irish mythology, as well as in the adventures of Sinbad the Sailor. 8. Yaku Mama In a bit of a departure, we'll focus on a monster found in a freshwater habitat, and this creature is located in South America, where it's said to guard the mouth of the Amazon Basin, in addition to other lagoons. It's found often in the folklore of indigenous peoples there, and is described as an aquatic beast that can measure more than 100 feet long. In order to protect themselves, native peoples would blow on a conch horn to make the critter reveal itself if it was in the water. According to legend, this is the mother of all aquatic creatures and would attack any living thing that ventured within its territory. It's also thought to assume the form of a giant anaconda, which is known as the Mina Cow. 7. Cadborosaurus, nicknamed Caddy, 
This refers to a sea serpent that appears in folktales from areas of the North American Pacific coast. The name actually originates from British Columbia's Cadboro Bay, combined with the Greek word saurus, meaning reptile, a lizard. Witnesses claim the beast has a horse-like head, long neck, small front flippers, and a large fan-like tail that allows it to powerfully propel itself in the water. Images similar to this critter's description have appeared in the culture of Alaska's indigenous peoples, including the Aleut. They keep a likeness of Caddy on the canoes to keep the monster away. Over the past 200 years, there have been around 300 claimed sightings of this beast. In many cases, other creatures including sea lions, basking sharks and giant oarfish have been mistaken for Cadborosaurus. The mistaken identities have also included the carcasses of elephant seals and basking sharks that have washed ashore. 6. Scylla and Charybdis these are two separate creatures, but they are so strongly connected that we're featuring them in the same segment here. A Scylla was a monster that lived on one side of a narrow channel of water across from Charybdis. That is described as a sea monster with several heads that feasted on sailors who ventured too close to its domain. Now there is no clear description of the Charybdis other than it was a massive sea creature capable of generating huge whirlpools that could destroy entire ships. Now if you tried avoiding one monster, the other would get you and vice versa. And because of that, the names have been immortalized in that expression trapped between Scylla and Charybdis, referring to a situation where you're trapped between two dangerous circumstances with no apparent way out of it. But as Homer described in the Odyssey, Odysseus did eventually make managed to escape both creatures, but at the cost of his ship and his crew. 5. Moby Dick While the exact dimensions of the titular whale are never divulged in the novel, Herman Melville does mention that Moby Dick is the largest sperm whale ever. And those creatures were said to measure some 90 feet long. That is according to the novel, although the largest size for a sperm whale is thought to be close to 70 feet maximum. That's still a huge beast, although maybe some dramatic license was taken there. But Melville's inspiration for the white whale was actually based on the accounts of a real-life albino sperm whale named Mocha Dick. And that marine mammal was found off the coast of Chile in the early 19th century, and it gained a reputation for being especially difficult to catch. And also, the events depicted in Moby Dick were inspired by a real-life incident that occurred in 1820 when a ship called the Essex was rammed and sunk by a sperm whale. That story was later recounted in a book called In the Heart of the Sea, which was made into a movie in 2015. Tell us if you've seen it. How was it? 4. Gigantic Octopus The giant Pacific octopus is usually acknowledged as the largest extant species of octopus today, with the largest live specimen weighing around 156 pounds with a 20-foot radial span. But in ancient times, there was said to be a cephalopod that was much larger, earning the name Gigantic Octopus. In the 19th century, zoologists in France described two species of giant octopuses, a large creature called the Colossal Octopus, which was said to have attacked sailing vessels off the coast of Angola, and the smaller Kraken Octopus, reported not only by Norwegian and North American whalers, but also by Pliny the Elder. He was a naturalist, philosopher, and commander in the Roman Empire who died in 79 AD. Pliny also mentioned once seeing the skeleton of a sea monster exhibited in Rome, and according to him, that skeleton measured more than 40 feet long and had a backbone that was one and a half feet thick. 3. Aspidotulone now, if you recall that segment about St. Brendan and the Devil Whale, you recall that the sea monster was also known as Jasconius, and that name can actually be traced back to a beast identified as Aspidotulone. Now, this is a legendary sea creature that has been described as a huge sea turtle, or as a whale with spines along the ridge of its back. Well, whatever form it might take, this creature is often depicted as simply enormous, huge enough to be mistaken for an island. This beast can have a landscape, including trees, valleys, and greenery covering it. After surfacing from the sea depths, it will attract unwitting sailors to the Faux Island, then pull them along with the vessel underneath the waves, drowning them all. 
Creatures similar to this have appeared in the folklore of various cultures, including Ireland, as we've mentioned. But it also appears in the folklore of Greenland, Chile, and in the Middle East, where it's known as Seraton, and is said to be a sea turtle the size of an island. 2. USS Stein Monster Now this mysterious creature was named for the destroyer escort USS Stein, which it claimed to have attacked in 1978. An unknown species of giant squid was thought to have destroyed the surface of the ship's sonar dome, with nearly 10% of the surface wrecked. The idea that the creature could have been a squid is due to the remnants of curved claw markings similar to those found on certain squid tentacles being discovered in cuts left at the scene. Those claws were much larger than any reported at that time, and we found unsubstantiated claims that this critter could have measured around 150 feet long or even more. 1. Stranger Than Fiction Well, we've taken a look at many critters that may or may not exist, a few of which are based on legend, so we thought we'd wrap things up with a huge sea monster that does exist in real life, and its size has been officially documented. The blue whale can measure around 100 feet long and weighs some 200 tons or 400,000 pounds. Those monster dimensions make it the largest animal ever known to have existed on the planet, and that is really saying something in light of so many enormous creatures that have inhabited the Earth over the millions of years. And it could be that this massive marine mammal has served as the inspiration for some of the creatures we've spoken about on a list. So it just goes to show that truth can often be stranger than fiction.